I'm going to say welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I am Divine Energy. Welcome to my beautifully lit, prosperous, sin abundance YouTube. Here on this YouTube, I like to do different spiritually related videos and content. If you're enjoying it here, make sure you hit the subscription button down below. As well as the post notification bell so you always alert it when I'm uploading to the channel. Alright. If you enjoy the videos, the content, you new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button too. Also, give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, if it's resonating with you and your spirit, alright? Show soul. Hit the like. Alright. So the energy that I was channeling is that you're shining right now. And it's like you've been pissing a lot of people off because of that. Like there's a lot of people that are angry about it. Some people, you know, aren't. They're happy for you. Um, they wish you joy and prosperity. Let's say that, right? And then you got other energies who not so much, right? So, kind of this mixed energy out here with people, other people's emotions. But I feel like you've been going through something like a very trying time in your life. 133. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So, it's like you healing right now. Like, there's this divine healing happening in your life right now. Let's get the surrounding energies concerning this read. Holy Spirit, angels, guides, what is it I need to see? Yeah, I feel like you're very strategic. A lot of people watch you or they like try to study you or mimic you or some shit like that, but they can't. It's like you're very unique, whatever it is that you do. I like the letters B, C, and E. Yeah, you're moving and then ascending right here. So you're moving up in rank. Some of y'all getting a clear, a clear, clean slate. It's a lot of people that you feel like, not to say you compare yourself, but it's like a lot of people that were at a certain space and it's like now you're catching up or you surpass even them is what I'm hearing with this ascending energy. Okay. Tell me more about the surrounding energy. I feel like you're ascending because you're not focused on the negative. That's what it is. You're ascending because you're not focused on the negative. Yeah, you got abundance coming through Taurus energy. So this could be abundance in all different forms, all different ways. Okay. Yeah. It's like you putting in a lot of work right now. This is why you ascending. So this is why people could be pissed off at you or just feeling like you left them behind. You know, that type of energy. And this isn't even people that, you know, this could be like family, family that like try to count you out or something like that. But it's like you're undefeatable. You're a master teacher. And I, I feel like you constantly teaching people lessons about not just fucking with you, but you teach people real true life lessons. Like you show people how immature or how petty they are because you're in this ascending energy. So it's like when people do malicious things, you check them and you give them like a swift reality check, but in a way, in a godlike way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like also, too, you got a lot of networking. So it's like even if people, you know, family, friends, whatever, those relationships are no longer serving you. Network effectively and gracefully at this time because it's like. You have a lot of people, like, your energy is changing. So, it's like your friends, your your family, people you will con now consider your family, right? 424 um, are going to start changing. That group is going to start changing right now. 444, four, four, yeah, you got flow out here. Yeah, future energy, destiny, transformation. So, it's like some people, you know, status upgrade. Some people, they'll never fucking understand, like, the changes that you've gone through or anything like that. But I feel like don't focus on that. Like, focus on your win, your success, your next level up, your next status upgrade. 
because I feel like a lot of people, you know, they just going to miss out on you on that opportunity to um, to say that they known you before. Right. Because it's like some people are like, what do you call it? Like digging graves or some shit like that. That's what they just told me. It's like people, some people, they want to be dead to you or some shit like that, right? That's the energy I'm getting. It's weird. Because I don't know why these people feel like this. It's like family, friends, all kind of people. Because they feel like your energy is ascending. And theirs is not. It's staying the same. When you knew them before, they still sitting in the same space. Catching up to them now, it's like, they looking at you like, damn, you've changed. Because you're supposed to. Right? Some of these people wanted to stay the same. And I feel like being a master teacher, you're always constantly evolving. Okay, Spirit wants you to connect with the air element also. Those of us getting this message. This is going to help you with your master teacher energy. This could also, when you talk about the air element, like, this could be gossip too, you know. But... Um, utilize the air element for protection. Those of y'all getting this message. Ooh, we got romance. Yes, look what came out. Undeveloped emotional intelligence. I just said that these people, they don't know how to level up. Some of these people are Jezebel spirits. They're only attracted to the high life or, you know, having something. Or some of these people... They're unevolved, though, emotionally, undeve underdeveloped emotionally, and they don't know how to express themselves well. So if people is, like, lashing out on you, just understand that it's because they're underdeveloped emotionally, okay? They lack the intelligence to truly be able to communicate at this time or ever, right? And because you're ascending, I feel like don't look down on them or don't put them down because... That's their personal struggle that they got to go through to um, help them grow and develop their emotions, okay? And be more emotionally intelligent when having conversations, right? It's like basic shit. It's like people don't not knowing how to um, communicate and you like looking at them like, damn, we like in our 20s, we in our 30s, we in our 40s, like... Why are you still communicating as if we were children, right? Um, it's this level of immaturity. That's what I was saying is weird because it's like, hold up. Am I reading for adults? Or See, some of these people are underdeveloped, okay? They've never had a chance to develop. Just because you went to school don't mean that you're developed emotionally. See, a book could only teach you so much. You know what I'm saying? Some people lack emotional intelligence because... They've never been in those social situations to teach them, to develop them with this emotional intelligence that you have. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you're healed. You're healing for happiness. A lot of people are not happy about that shit. They don't want you to be healed. They want you to go back to who you were because they felt like they were over you at some point. False. <laughs> Okay, but that's how they felt. Like, truly. Yeah, it's like you're believing in you and your magic. Being patient right now. Joy and sustainability. People are pissed off about where you are and how you're moving these days. They expected you, I guess, to just be somebody little flunky. Or to always have to answer to somebody. Or to be second to somebody. But it's like you're first. And you're showing people that... Look, you're going to respect me, my time, my energy, you know, or you can hit the door, you know, seriously. And that's family, friends, all, all uh, relationships, jobs, all of that. What's being hidden at this time? What's being hidden? I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah. Some of these people are afraid to contact you. Because they really know, like, if they contact you, that you're going to put them in their fucking place. And you're going to make these people feel this fucking small just by putting them in their place. Not because you cursed them out. Not because you belittled them. But just because you gave them an actual dose of reality, an actual dose of truth. Because you're healed now. And so you can spot that shit in other people when they're not healed. 
when they have issues going on inside of them you're the fucking master teacher and you're very intuitive you can see shit you can feel it i can feel it in the air you know <laughs> that's just what it is because you're healed underdeveloped emotional uh these underdeveloped uh adults here know nothing about that what else is hidden so many things remind me of you yeah wow so it's like these some of these people feel like even when they're afraid to contact you or have communication right they feel like there's a lot of things that remind you you know or remind them of you all of the time, they're always thinking about you. You're always on my mind, you know. But this, these energies, trust and believe, they try to act like they so hard and they so tough and they don't need nobody. But some of the weakest and un, under, underdeveloped emotionally people that you will ever meet. And you know them because of that. Because of that stain on their heart, that scar, that... You know what I'm saying? They refuse to heal. I wish I could take back my word. Some of these people have said some nasty ass fucking shit. And they wish that they could take back their words. But here's the thing. You shouldn't say things that you don't fucking mean. I wish I had treated you better. Yes. Some of these people wish that they had better relationships with you and everything. But now they're starting to see like, you know, that it's them. It was never you. A lot of these energies blamed you for the reason why y'all don't get along. And now other people around them are starting to see too. Through their bullshit. That they're liars. Pathological liars. Constantly lying. To make themselves feel better at night. Heart. Love. In reverse. These people, they lack love within. 1207. They lack peace. They lack harmony. In their life. Tell me more about these energies. What else is coming out here for this reading? You're a master fucking teacher. That's what it is. Feathers. Messages. Some of you guys get messages in the forms of feathers. So when you get your feathers, save them. <laughs> I always save mine. What else is coming out here? Feather messages. You could be a messenger. You could give messages you were sent here, honestly, to give people messages because of your level of healed healing that you're going through. And you're still constantly healing every day. But you're patient with yourself. And you teach people how to develop themselves through your own work, through your own life, through your own practice, your own craft, whatever it is. Because you're starting to believe in your own magic. And see, a lot of people were more powerful than you because they believed in themselves. And now you're starting to believe in yourself. Well, shit, that's like a powerhouse. That's why a lot of these people wanted to keep you small or make you feel inferior. But once you realize that they were coming from a space of unhealed and trauma, underdeveloped, emotional, intelligent people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put off to the world, like, because you could buy this kind of car, or you could buy this kind of house, or have this type of this type of living, you know, that that makes you develop. That doesn't make you emotionally intelligent. That makes you, I don't know, fiscally responsible. But emotions aside, because emotions don't got nothing to do with your finances. And how you're developing yourself, you're ascending. And they feel that shit because it's like these people find it hard to take the messages from you, 1411, because you're somebody who has gone through something in your life. And it's like you're not supposed to be the teacher. You're not supposed to be the master. It's how they feel. But see, you're showing them that all of the fucking knowledge in the world don't matter if you can't apply it. Huh? Boundaries. So now you're putting up boundaries with these people in these relationships. And they're upset about this shit. They're fucking pissed. Like, how dare you move on? How dare you fucking ascend? You supposed to be like us and not ascend. Right? 
And these people, all they ever lived on and talked about was money. In life, we, as we know, all of us that's on this spiritual awakening path, all of us that's receiving this enlightenment, you know what I'm saying? We realizing that it ain't all about the money. You got to have some integrity, honey. Where's your integrity? Because you stand in integrity. No amount of money can buy you integrity. That's why they pissed off. Because they want you to sink down to their level. And drop your integrity. And fight them in that way. And you like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, I'm good, honey. You go do that over there. Bye. You know? <laughs> Have fun. You know, shit like that. Yeah, expectations. That's what they wanted. That was their expectation. They thought that if they play dirty, you was going to get down and rumble in the dirt with them. But you're not. You're a fucking master teacher. You're playing chess. They're playing checkers. Feel me? Uh, knowledge is not wisdom until you can apply it. And these people, like I said, are still playing checkers. Tell them keep up. They ain't on your level. Sudden wealth. Some of you guys are getting 16, 16, abundance, raises, promotions. Suddenly, it came to you out of no fucking where. Why? Because your level of healing and ascending, how you're working with your uh, spiritual counsel, deepening that relationship. See, that's really the part of the fucking magic, you know, that people miss out on. Like, what is my soul, my spirit been trying to tell me all of this time? What are the lessons? You're listening to the message and doing the fucking work. No matter how hard you find that truth to be. And that's the thing with them. They want people around them that make them feel good. That's going to lie to them. And you're not one of those. This ain't that. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, concern. We have our concern, marriage. So somebody, some of these energies could be in relationships like that you cut off and stuff, family, friends, whatever, jobs, whatever. They're in these marriages that a lot of people know about what's going on in their situations. And they recognize that this person is not happy. These Some of these energies are just not happy in these connections, but they hang on to these connections because like I said, in these marriages or in these connections, some of these people are underdeveloped themselves. So they're a perfect match with their underdeveloped partner. You feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah, some of you guys, I feel like you could be like in the public spotlight or you could be in the public eye. You got out the sun because you lucky as shit. Okay, four leaf clover. Like, I don't know who the fuck they thought, but... They better recognize that you is divine. Big fucking divine. Out this bitch. Like, what the fuck? Okay. I feel like people want you to only focus on your fuck ups. Or your mishaps. And it's like you seeing beyond that. You seeing where you can be past that. Not just this fuck up anymore. And people don't like that. When you start to change and you're not the fuck up. And you're no longer the topic of discussion. Where everybody get to put you down. Now they got to put you in your rightful place. On a pedestal. Feel me? So these energies are pissed off. Because they will always talk shit about you. And you leveling up. Financially. Emotionally. Spiritually. So now what do they have? They have nothing because all they ever had was the money. And money can make shit look funny like somebody doing something, but in all actuality, that don't mean nothing. Because some people is just truly underdeveloped, and that's just the fucking facts. You know what I'm saying? And they know that, and that pisses them off. Truly. Tell me more about this particular reading here. I feel like y'all is on a lucky ass win streak. Some of y'all could play lotto or do something and it's going to create some sort of abundance or something. I don't know. Because you got this lucky charm. So it's like representing a, uh, you got 40 clover, which is like representative of luck. 
and good fortune. Okay, for those of us receiving this reading right now. <coughs> <coughs> then you got our sudden wealth. So some of y'all could hit big. I don't know who played Lotto, but yeah. Wow, rigged games. So yeah, somebody does play Lotto or something. Here I'm hearing. What's coming out here, Holy Spirit? Tell me more about this energy here. Special recipe. Oh, okay. Cold as ice. So some in reverse. Somebody, I feel like that's you, Collective. Whoever I'm talking to, you don't give a shit about these people and their feelings or their emotions because it's like you've had to be like cold as ice your whole life. You've had to learn how to not give a fuck. Like, you're the master of not giving a fuck. And these people are fucking pissed off because they felt like you was always going to be the one that gives a fuck and you don't give a fuck. You, you don't give a fuck more than them. They think they don't give a fuck. They ain't seen shit with you. You feel me? And I feel like your level of not giving a fuck is what's making a fucking whatever special recipes or whatever type of to, to fuck with you. It's like making that shit not work. So whether they working magic towards you or any fucking thing or even if it's just a, a negative fucking thought about you. You feel what I'm saying? That's what's making this shit not work. Because for you, it's like, your magic doesn't work in my universe. <laughs> for real. So it's like, they don't have no fucking power over you. They're mad about that. Yeah, they feel unsatisfied. Like, damn, everything that I do, everything I throw at you, none of it fucking works. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Let me see what else I can throw. <laughs> Go sit your ass down. You want to throw some? Go throw your ass in a circle. I don't know. But leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> you know? For real. Commitment. Yeah. Some of these people, I feel like they lack commitment in relationships. Like, they got good people that really fuck with them. But the people that's good for them, they don't know how to commit to y'all like the people that y'all coming to this reading y'all coming to this reading because these people threw you out you feel me like tossed you clean the fuck out like now they realizing that all of the shit that they did didn't phase you and they're realizing that all of the relationships they've had in the past they've wasted the good people that came into their life that were there to help them. To help them to what? Develop emotional intelligence. They squander these people in their heart, their time, their actions. So now they feel sad about that shit. They feel bro Look at this shit, bottom of the day. Broken. They feel broken. They feel broken. Because of what the fuck they thought would work on you. It don't phase you. And all of the people that they had in their life, they wasted these commitments to squander them, to waste it. They talk about, these are the type of people that talk about other people, but be in the same situation that they talk about other people in. You see what I'm saying? Hypocrites. That's not like a hypocrite to me, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, you ascending. You're no longer a fucking hypocrite. You're not rolling in that fucking boat. You're getting down dirty in that mud with them. You're like, nah. I'm I'm ascending. What the fuck? You stay back there. Alright? Let me handle this up here. <laughs> Reveal. I promise you. It's being revealed to their ass. And it's being revealed to you what's going on. Some of these people want to tell you the truth. They might even come forward and speak up. Huh? But like I said, they hard. They, they so tough. We got our time. Yeah, what's going on? We got our time stamp. Look at this shit. Behind that, we got time stamp. Somebody trying to 
I don't know what this is with time. But Hamza stuck in the damn toy. That's what the fuck it was. Somebody feel like <laughs> my bad y'all. Hamza distracted the fuck out of me. Hamza, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> Fat ass got stuck in the toy. <laughs> Alright. But somebody feel like they trapped in time or like they missed out on time with some of their relationships. They feel like they can never get back that time that they wasted chasing shit that was fake and wasn't real. When they had the real friends, the real allies right in their corner, they like blew y'all off. But now y'all headed towards sudden wealth. So now it's like they want to backtrack and double back. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Like I'm leveling up. You're getting the fucking last laugh. At these people, look, they having a heart attack. They can't believe it. Fucking heart attack. They cannot believe this shit. Yes. We're getting the last laugh here. Okay? These people are, you're a missed opportunity. They missed out on the opportunity to have you in their life. That's what these people are fucking mad about. Because of where you're going. You're the fucking master teacher. They see you going places. And they see themselves sitting still, stuck in the same fucking boat that they st started off in. They still there. Some of these people, all they got is they cold ass heart. <laughs> you feel me? I let my heart ring out in love. You know what I'm saying? Let me be divine. The fuck? <laughs> it's a time and a place for all energy. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand that. Some people don't understand that shit. <laughs> what are the messages when it comes to relationships from this reading in particular? Thank you. Heart to heart conversation and releasing your ex. Somebody does need to release their ex. Because somebody, this is about your ex. Somebody is going to have a heart to heart conversation. This could be with family. This could be with friends. Whatever. Somebody that they felt like, okay, I want to fix this situation. But some of you guys got boundaries up, so you'll never allow this to happen. Because it's like, you feel like somebody trying to play you or somebody. You know, they should have did right by you the first time around. Just period. Your boundaries are set. <laughs> okay. They're clear. They're cut. Okay. <laughs> no negotiation. <laughs> no negotiation. All right. <laughs> yeah, something about time. Somebody felt like they ran out of time. I'm hearing... Somebody feel like they don't have enough of time for certain things to make time. Somebody can feel like that about you. Like you didn't make enough time. Trust. Hmm. I'm going to put this back. Hold on. What's coming out about this reading that I need to see? In particular. What's, what is it I need to see about this reading? What is it about this particular reading? Excuse me. Master. Come on now. I knew they told me to put it back. Because you're the fucking master. Hello? Y'all see my fucking thing? My screen keep bleaking the fuck out, right? Okay. Master. Wizard. Warlock. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but yeah, yo. Y'all like master teachers of this shit. You teach people how to heal. For real. Through the relationships that you have through, with people. You teach people how to master themselves, their own emotions. Through how well you discipline yourself with your own emotions. And govern yourself around other people. And that's what people hate to see. Because it's like, you could have been the hothead. You could have been the person that was very temperamental. The whatever. And you, you completely did like a 180 on somebody. That's what I felt like. Yeah. Master. And I just cut the deck on lead. Literally. You're the fucking leader. These people throw chakras. So like I said, some of you guys could be speaking the fuck up. Somebody, there is a third throat chakra out here. So there's going to be some sort of communication here. But you guys could also be the communicators or the people they speak up or 
you know, people listen to or are influencers or some shit like that with your throat chakra, you're going to be very successful doing that, using your throat chakra, just speaking, whatever it is that you, you came here for, you're a fucking speaker. That might lead to some sort of abundance um, at some point in your life also, okay? Despite these people fucking up, you know, hey, that shit happens, right? Shit happens. We can't all be see. We can't all um, have clear third eye, right? Everybody can't see the same way. Even though we all have gifts, it's like you can have a gift, but if you're not using it, what good is it, right? So some of these people are not able to tap into their gifts or their natural abilities, right? Um, due to their stubbornness, just period. And that stubbornness is why these people are underdeveloped. All right? Let's get the messages from our ancestors, our guides, our angels. What does God want us to know right now? Okay, the most high, the God in us, need us to know. All right now. Holy Spirit, talk to me for this reading. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Some of y'all, y'all gain some little happy weight. Just because you're happy and you're a masterful leader. But spirit, your angels, your guides, they want you to be able to be healthy and well. So they're saying exercise. It doesn't have to be nothing big and crazy. It just got to be something to get your heart rate going. Okay, now. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase it is going to be through physical exercise. Choose fun and meaningful activities so that you'll look forward to exercising as it becomes its own reward. Didn't I just say earlier, throw that ass in a circle. Okay, so maybe that's your thing. Maybe you want to dance and like to like, I don't know, what's that shit that I dance to? Um bounce music or something some of y'all that might be your your new sudden wealth because some of y'all dance good i don't dance good that's why i would never record me fucking dancing no sit the fuck down <laughs> but some of y'all is you know and y'all came here to get that message all right throw that ass in a circle throw that ass in look at this deservingness you deserve what you're getting you're a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon a divine life purpose. Okay? Even if you can't recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. So whatever it is, like I said, God is going to reveal it to you. What that gift, what that thing is, that's going to bring you that sudden wealth. And you are deserving of it. Hello? Throw that ass in a circle. I can't stop singing it now, y'all. Oh, Lord. Y'all gonna be tearing me up in the comments talking about that song. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> what did I start? What did I start here? Let's see. Do the work. So you literally got do the work, do the work twice. Somebody needs to do the work. Because, listen, it's not enough to dream and pray. And that's what I feel like these people in the past who you left behind. They only used to dream and pray about shit. And that's not enough. You could dream and you could pray all the fuck you want. But if you're not doing the fucking practice. I told y'all, it's, pr it's called practical magic. You have to do the practical work. The, pra the one girl, she asked me, how do you manifest... Um. Getting a good grade on, on, on the fucking exam. I said, fucking study. She looked at me like I was fucking crazy. I said, well, they manifested. What the fuck? Get out of my face. Like, leave. <laughs> Move. <laughs> you have to do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a flower garden. Period. Do the fucking work. And some of y'all needed to hear that message. And then some of y'all are doing the work. So it came out twice in my deck and in this deck. 
So I need y'all to know to do the work. All right. Let me get one more for the collective. Thank you. Focus on your priorities. So some somebody's not focused on the priorities. Please focus on your priorities. Spirit needs you to know that. Because listen, when you where you put your focus is where you're gonna receive the outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and attention that you and them deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities is going to help you feel better and more confident. So even if this means like starting small, like making a small list of the certain things that you need to do, right? And starting small and then eventually you got a whole book of all of the things that you want accomplished, and then you can always go to it, tweak it, change it, but focus on your priorities, whatever that is for you. Okay. Message. Bottom of the deck. Look at this. Positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Don't allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you're on. Keep the faith and keep going. I can't make this shit up. Like, these people want you to be distracted. They want to be distractions in your life because they feel unsatisfied in their own life. They feel like they've missed out on certain opportunities in their own life. Not just with you, but with other people, other situations, whatever it is. Okay? But keep your positivity, your faith, and your optimism. Okay? Keep the faith and keep going. All right? Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks. To interfere with your path that you are on. I'll say that again. Alright. Let's get us some tarot messages. I ain't going to stay too long now with these tarot messages. But let's get us a couple. Let's get us a couple. Holy Spirit. Where is the present energy? The collective. The person that I'm. The energies that I'm reading on right now. For this reading. Where are they right now in the present? Thank you Holy Spirit. Oh. There it is. So, yeah, you feel like you got a lot of eyes on you and shit like that. You know, and they are, they got a lot of eyes on you. People could be lying about you, though. But I feel like the truth is, is that whatever they saying is just making you more confident. So, don't focus on the negativity. Focus on the good shit. I got that message loud and clear earlier, too. I was going to channel that message. But it's like, don't focus on these negative people or these people that's being negative with their negative-ass energy. Cut them off, leave them where the fuck they at, and move the fuck on, all right? Because these people, I feel like, are they got negative eyes on you because they don't have shit going for themselves in their own life. Clarifying the Page of Swords. Who is the Page of Swords? Yeah, we got ten of fucking wands to the fucking hermit. People that are, they're seeing, some of these people are single, and they got a lot of problems of their own. These people that's watching you. Like, they don't have shit going on in their own life. So, it's like, they're trying to focus out on you. Or they could be trying to stop your money. So, say, like, you doing something where um, you have, like, a, a focus in the community or something like that. They trying to, like, deter people from coming to you or some shit like that. Lying on you. But I feel like every time that they lie on you... It makes more people more, um, people want to know about who you are. Because it's like, when you, when these people talk about you, it makes people want to know who you are. Clarifying the, um, Seven of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? Because I, I get that it's lies. Yeah, look at this. To the fucking strength, like, it's the fuck they lying on like somebody that's like a, a fucking whole earth angel i could be talking to somebody who got a capricorn moon what is the seven of cups yeah they lying on somebody who's very they it's like people look at you they see you as very persistent they see you as somebody that gets a lot of shit done i could be talking to sagittarius leo energy Taurus. It's like people see you as somebody who gets a lot of things accomplished. 
when, when they talk about you, it's like they talk about you in such a negative way that when people look at you, they like, how is that possible? This person is very successful or this person like that is can't be possible or some shit like people are actually more intrigued with whoever these energies that got their eye on you and keeping an eye on you or some shit like that while you're ascending, watching you grow, become the master teacher, healing. Okay. Instead of watching you so closely, maybe they should fucking start taking notes so that they can start doing this in their own lives. That's what the fuck they should do. But that's probably not what they're going to do, right? <laughs> what is the queen of fucking wands? What is the queen of wands? Look at this shit. Rebirth. Look at this shit. So it's like, you're changing. You're having a huge transformation. And your home is solid. Four of wands. Deep down within your soul. You know what I'm saying? Who you are as an individual. Leo energy. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, with this Aries. People see you taking action in Mars. People see you taking action. So go ahead and continue to focus on your priorities. And don't let that negative negative energy like disrupt what you got going on. Just period. Alright? Because on some real shit, that's what all that they really can do. Is hate from afar. Because they don't have joy. And they don't have sustainability because it's like everything that they they build, if it perishes for them, it crumbles. And they look at you as somebody who constantly is able to rebuild and restructure your life. No matter what setbacks that you receive, you're unfucking defeatable to these people. Real shit with this rebirth here. It's like the people look at you as you're undefeatable. So if you are up against this type of energy, you're winning. Hello. Bottom of the deck and the nine of fucking swords, okay? In reverse. Whatever traps that they tried to set for you, that shit is never going to fucking work. Yeah, six of cups, people in your past. Whatever try to, uh, traps that they tried to set is never going to fucking work. And they're pissed off about this shit. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Just continue to focus on your priorities and the outcome that you do desire. Because I feel like, also, some of you guys, you got two of cups in reverse. So it's like, you're healing your heart too, a lot, right now. And that's going to be very important about you focusing on your priorities. What is the two of cups? I knew that bitch was at the back of the deck. What is that two of cups? I don't want to talk about that. What's the two of cups? Queen of fucking cups in reverse. Damn, so what is the queen of cups? I feel like a lot of people that you come into contact with, you were really sent to, to them to be, to show them the truth, to speak to them the truth. And a lot of them will deny you, but it's because, it's always going to resonate to you just how unhealed they are when they deny you. Real shit. This two of cups message. So... I get that because you're a catalyst of rebirth and transformation to people often. Um, people don't like you because you're the truth and you always giving the truth. You're always telling the truth. They don't like that shit because like I said, people want you to lie to, lie to them. What's that song? I don't want to know. People don't want to know. They don't want to know the truth. Because when you start talking the truth, it's like, oh, shit. People want to live in a lie, in a fantasy. 43, 43. Two of wands. People want to live in a fucking fantasy. Two of wands. Not know whether they're coming or going or not know the truth. But the reality is you need the truth. Because the truth is always going to set you free. These could be possible Taurus, Scorpio energies. Out here, I got Cancer as well. Or I could just be talking to a uh, Virgo. Got a High Priestess out here. What is the High Priestess? To the Five of Fucking Wands of Reverse. These are people that that's definitely family. Some of y'all, this message is deeply about family and things like that. 
they look at you like you're a fucking high priestess and they they fight with the high priestess because it's like that's what you were sent here to do i'm talking i could be talking to definitely sagittarius leo energy jupiter energy out here you just got so much expansion your your um ruling planet is jupiter whoever i'm talking to <clears throat> you have so much expansion in your life just period and people hate that shit because some people don't know what to do with jupiter energy some people will channel that energy and get greedy and get lazy and you you constantly transforming that energy for yourself and finding peace and balance for a while that's why I feel like they fight with you because you have this sort of inner peace so when they say release your ex this could be ex family members or ex um, people that you associated yourself very closely with right yeah, it's the sword. Deeply. Okay, is what I'm getting. But yeah, this is the message here. I love you guys. If you, this message resonated with you, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe, okay? So you always get alerted when I'm uploading to the channel. I love y'all. Peace.